Hey guys, Hi. what's up? And um, that was my friend Stephanie. And um, today we are going to be talking about girl problems. So we're going to be improvising a little bit just because um, after this we have to go somewhere. So yeah, we have to do Zumba. Anyways, we have a Zumba class. <laughs> yeah, baby. Okay. okay. So um, um, she'll start <laughs> saying things first, and then um, yeah. Okay. What do you want to talk about? Girl problems. Okay. Name one. I'll name you one, you name me one, and then I'll talk about it. Um, how some girls sometimes think they're, they're not pretty, but everybody's pretty. Yeah. Insecurity. Wow. <laughs> talk, excuse me. Um, I'm pretty sure a lot of girls, especially a lot of you that are watching this video, especially to even look at girl problems, are probably saying, Oh, I must be ugly. Or, I don't like my nose. I don't like my eyes. I, I feel fat. First of all, if no one's perfect out there, so you should not worry about looking like a goddess because no one does unless, you know. You're a goddess. Unless you're a goddess. <laughs> <laughs> but you do have to learn to appreciate yourself. And instead of finding the bad things about you, Try to look at the good and positive things about you. And if you're, like, calling yourself fat or calling yourself ugly because of other people, the f they're, they're probably even ten times more insecure than you for even making fun of you because you should be proud of, of yourself. Sounds corny, but it's true. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. Another so you problem. say something to me, so I guess it. Let me see. I guess a lot of girls wor worry too much about, but that's still insecure. No way. It's like wearing too much makeup. When so wearing too much makeup. Um, some girls. This is also kind of part of insecurity, just because some girls think they're ugly and they want to put makeup. I have a beauty channel just because I enjoy doing it, and I that's kind of like one of my passions to do. Um, I don't put makeup on just because I want to look prettier. As you guys can see, look at my face. I have so many pimples right now. But whatever. Anyways, um, you are who you are. So, um, yes. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, um, so a lot of girls want to put just like a whole bunch of makeup on just so they can look prettier. But you're pretty just the way you are. God created you just the way you are. I don't even know why people invent plastic surgery and yeah that's and like that's bad who wants to get you get more of a risk of dying doing plastic surgery than and it the way just, it's noticeable it's, it's noticeable if you guys could see other like people if like if you guys do like um if you've seen anybody with like um breast surgery when they wear like little shirts like that go like this you could see there, like, you could see, like, marks and stuff here on the side. But, um, anyways, I just think, um, you're pretty the way you are. Nobody's gonna, nobody's gonna change that. You were born from your parents, and if you don't like it, just try to like it. Because God, God was the one who brought you into this world, and he was the one who created this world because... Without him, nothing would be here. Too much religion. Nobody right would be here. Too much religion. Listen. <laughs> I'm kidding. No. You, well, yeah, that's true. And also, like, you know how some girls wear, like, tons of makeup even to the gym? Like, wherever they go, they need makeup. Like, I'm kidding. I'm, am I wearing makeup? <laughs> no, but yeah, well, yeah. The only the only makeup I ever really wear is lip gloss. Yeah, but she's, she's obsessed. Or chopstick, because I feel like my chopstick. Lips look smooth. <laughs> chopstick. Yeah, chopstick. But <laughs> but what was I gonna say? No, like I've seen some girls that wear makeup le legit to everything, to the gym, to the pool, even though it's gonna look bad on them. Oh, that was my phone. Uh -huh. Um, but like. First of all, why would you wear, like, I'm not judging, but don't wear makeup to go to the gym or anything like that because you're just going to sweat. 
And you're like you're gonna you're, you're gonna you're damaging your skin when you don't even need to. I got something because you said you're gonna sweat. Anyway, if you go to the gym with makeup, you're gonna come out worse than how you entered. And when you're gonna come out worse than when you're done with the gym without makeup because if you have mascara, eyeliner, eyeshadow, it'll all be dripping down. And if like if you go how do you say it? Like if maybe you have like somebody that you think you like, like a boy or something, well, you're gonna get embarrassed because everything's yeah, gonna be he, falling down. If he doesn't like you without makeup, he's not then worth he's it. not worth it. He just like he's useless. He's useless. He you, he either wants you for your your junk in the trunk, <laughs> or he wants you for your um racks, <laughs> or or he wants you just for for you know for love, for making love. Yeah, but that's yeah. But don't, yeah, don't, another don't problem. Don't fall into that trap. Another problem. <laughs> this is gonna be so weird on YouTube, but you know your um demonstration. The okay. what? Demonstration. Periodo. Oh. <laughs> I, I say menstruation. Menstruation. Whatever. Okay. So next <laughs> problem. Periods for girls. Only for girls. Periods. Yeah. Um, what, I wonder if a boy if a boy watches this video, please exit right now. Just like X the window thing, the window thing. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Anyways, um, if you got if you girls um get your period, um, don't worry about it. Don't think that it's like the end of the world for you because sometimes there are side effects that you will get. There will be side effects such as headaches, nausea, sometimes vomiting, sometimes just you feel dizzy, other times you just feel like your stomach feels bloated. It feels like your stomach, like, your stomach is yeah, huge. Yeah, there's some women that get them, like, really heavy and some that get them, like... I get them irregularly, which I think it's annoying because mine is already, like, 12 days late. Her, yeah, she got it, like, 10, 10 days, days late. late. Yeah, for a second, I thought I was pregnant. Yeah. But even though I didn't do it, you know. I was, yeah. I was just, like, worried. I don't know. I was like, what? How would... But one thing that you guys... Like... One thing that you guys could, um, know is that, um, if your period doesn't come as early, um, as early as when it's supposed to come, don't worry about it because some, some girls, they get their periods, like, a year or two after. And I'm not lying, um... It's true. It's really true. I've talked about that with my doctor, and that's what my doctor told me. And so, if you got, if you girls like don't get it as soon as possible, you only go to the doctor. But just in case, you know, go in case there's yeah. any problems. Also, this is. I think I've been. The, I said this before, but you know how some girls love. They say they love a boy, and then they'll do legit anything for them first of all you should love yourself more than a boy because if he's taking advantage of you that just proves that you're wasting your time on someone who doesn't value you and you're valuing them for no reason so trust me there's m there's many problems out there because we've also had some problems in school with other kids yeah and about liking and breaking up and then going out with another girl and going out with the same girl while going out with another girl it's it's crazy like you guys know life life is hard like that so i don't recommend going out if you're going out with somebody to go out with somebody who's nice who has a good personality yeah who doesn't treat you bad sometimes who's a gentleman that's yeah. what i want to say who's and I, I gotta admit i went out for boys because of their looks but I was mental because I look back and I say they're not even cute. Like what? Like I went out with this. Well, not one now. He j he just took it. Like how, I don't want to say it. Okay. Hello, Don Mateos. Hello, Los. Oh. I say, <laughs> but um, yeah. Like don't let a guy take advantage of you and all. It, like you. Like I've seen a lot. Some girls that say, "Oh, he does like me," but in the in your in your mind, like, like in your mind, you're like, maybe he likes me or he thinks I'm pretty. 
But in, in your heart, you know that he's only taking advantage of you because he's always talking dirty or whatever. Like, you could tell. You're just too afraid to admit it or, den or like, you're too busy to den um, denying it. I also got something else to say. I definitely agree with her because I had a problem when I was in sixth grade. Now we're in eighth grade. Um, I had this problem that I supposedly heard somebody say that this guy liked me. And at that time, I liked guys for their looks. You know, I always liked, um, like, the people that I always liked were guys with, like, Justin Bieber cut hair. <laughs> me too. <laughs> so, um, there was this guy that, um, my friends, like, most of my friends told me that he thought I was cute. So I w stupidly went along with it. And then I wanted to do, like, everything for him to try to notice me and for him to try to, you know, like, talk to me. And I, I did everything, but the problem yeah. was that it came out that he didn't like me. So I was just like, you know what, forget about it. I'm moving on. I'm not going to do this anymore. So I stopped, and now I don't have a boyfriend yet, but I kind of don't want to have one until a proper age and until you know you're responsible and um just yeah going out with somebody who's who's a gentleman like I said oh uh, yeah before. like some girls say they want a boyfriend they're like oh, i want a boyfriend i'm so lonely first of all trust me i used to be that girl exactly if you're if you want a boyfriend okay i'm pretty sure everyone wants someone but don't force it because it's like have you ever heard this saying that says Love is like a fart. If you force it, it comes out shit. Yeah. 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 It's true because it's true, yeah. I have I have this one friend that's always like I don't want to say names, but like there's I have a friend that she's always saying your your life is perfect. You have a boyfriend. I'm like you know what I'm talking about, and it kind of pisses me off because you have so many friends. You have perfect grades. You got a full scholarship. To a freaking high school that I want to go to. What do I have? I have, okay, I have fine grades. I'm doing good. But all you can say is that I have a boyfriend. And technically, if I didn't have a boyfriend, I'd probably be the same as happy. Well, no. Well, no, she, no, 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 no. I don't have a boyfriend. She'll but, yeah, she'll but probably... But I'll still be happy. I am, I am happier, but I still was happy before, too. So, it's like, don't count, don't count your future and your happiness on some guy. Just... Especially like if you if you're fine with your life and you know that you can do good in the future, don't be all depressed because you can't find a guy and you, like you can't find a guy because you're forcing it. You have to let you have to go with the flow and just because I found my boyfriend when I least expected it. I didn't even want one at the time and then I started liking him and I waited two months to know to get to know him and now we're per we're. They're a perfect couple. They're they're a really nice couple. Even though it's kind of like a long distance relationship, they still like on weekends they get together and hang out and it's, mm. it's a really nice. Mm. It's a couple. Really nice couple. Yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well. But what's really funny is that I don't even know if I should be saying this, but what? what's really funny is that if you like write their initials on a heart. It's like S plus D, so it's like S T D. Well, it's, oh, supposed, yeah, it's, so it's funny. supposed to okay. be D T S. That it sounds is. like D T F. <laughs> I just noticed. Yeah. Okay. Anyways, um, just want to bring that up. Another problem. Let's see. Let's see. Um, sorry guys, we're improvising. Ooh. We don't want. Slut. Slut. That's one huge problem. If there are any sluts watching this, um, you should either well, like pay attention now, or you should just exit out if you don't care. Because we're trying to make people not become sluts. We're trying to let people become girls with good grades, good opportunities in their future, and not a girl who just wants to make love every single minute of the every single minute of the day. Yes, I seen a lot of girl. Well, like I've seen. A I lot. can't really. I can't really. Like, I don't know how to explain it. What? It's just like I. I guess there are some girls. Like they might be nice to 
to their girlfriends, but behind their backs, they're doing some stuff with guys that they don't even know about. And you lose your respect for yourself, and you let the guy you the jerk, like get away with it. You humiliated by being a slut too, because everybody thinks you're just. Um, I don't know if I should say this word, but everybody just will think that you're a whore, and that yeah, like, you know everybody's not gonna like you, and if boys like you. You just know that they're liking you because you're a slut. Because some boys fall for that a lot. Mm -hmm. So. And I'm there's like. Wait, what was I going to say? I always forgot what I was going to say. Hmm. I don't know, it looks stupid. Um. Yeah. So, about this whole thing. Like. Have you ever seen the movie Easy A? Mm hmm. Yeah. Like, if, if you, you guys ever seen the movie Easy A, comment down below. Yeah, like, if you're doing all that like pretending to be a slut for attention or just doing it with every uh, with every guy you can see to get attention and feel loved and value then look what happened to the girl in the movie yeah and you could possibly get a sickness or like hiv know, hiv you could get, you could HIV, get pregnant you could get, if you get pr like there's no if you're a teenager and you want to have love like, if you do it behind somebody's back, or your parents' back, and they find out that you're pregnant, that's going to be the worst thing ever, because you can't, you can't reverse pregnancy. You can't just, like, how do you say it? Like, you can't, um, if you get pregnant, there's no way of either not getting pregnant anymore, like, um, I don't know how to explain it, but like you can't, the baby's not gonna go away. The baby's magically. not gonna go away, exactly. You're gonna have to. You're gonna have parent. to raise it. You're gonna have to treat it like a child. You're gonna have to. You're gonna have to live with your own child. That's and you are gonna. That's a. Big, that's a big problem, especially. If it's you, a big responsibility, yeah. especially if you're a teen, with school and everything. How are you gonna bring your teen to college? Your own little child to college. Yeah. And, and then if you can't take care of yourself up your and got if you got pregnant exactly. yourself without even knowing and with no parents knowing, then you obviously can't take care of yourself and you know, you're having a baby and you have to take care of another person. Yeah, so exactly. If you can't take care of yourself, you can't take care of your child. There's no way there's no other way of saying that. Yeah. See. So, yeah. As um well, before we move on to another question, like um there's these two episodes, um, one of Mari if you guys know Mari, um, this 12 year old girl, she wanted oh, yeah. to have a baby. 12 year old. I was gonna say, no, yeah. 12 or 13 year old, if you guys can, can't believe that. She's collected over like more than 100 baby items. And she came into the show, you know, if you guys know, um, when they call the person out to sit in the chairs where Mari is. She came out with a teddy bear and a pacifier. Mm -hmm. Sucking a pacifier, like, is she crazy or not? <laughs> Seriously, you guys tell me, is she crazy or not? Because you guys can check it out on YouTube. It's either 12 um, or 13, but I'm pretty sure it's 12. You put 12-year-old girl on Mari that wants to have babies. And then there's this other one. That's 15 that's years 15 old. And she's have she's have done it. She has done it with over 300 men. And over 300 men she's ruining her life already and she wants to get a baby now like the heck like i don't want to judge but come on right <laughs> <laughs> um what other problems mm, hair <laughs> well um i don't know if this is a problem well yeah if you guys have dry um, <laughs> yeah, I have a lot of friends with that problem. If you guys have dry, itchy, or like not sleek and shiny hair, I do recommend this. Um, oh know, yeah, I just friends, got it. Yeah. One of my friend Taylor, she had it and her hair looked beautiful. Shout out to Taylor. Yeah. Hey, peace Taylor. We love you Taylor. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. Um, anyway, so... This is to make your hair sleek and shiny. This, um, Stephanie bought it. She bought it for herself yeah. because, um... I need it. She needs <laughs> it. <laughs> so, anyways, it's from Garnier Fructis, and, um, our friend has it, like I said. And her hair is very sleek and shiny when she... Because if you guys know, if you use flat irons a lot, which she does, 
it kind of damages your hair and like yeah kind of makes it dry i used to do it then i changed to blow drying and now i just i'm trying not she to blow dry it too much though i just like you still get heat on your hair and you, i leave it i dry it now no, this you. is what i put she'll show you guys right now after i wash my hair my mom bought this Indian thing. I'm supposed to wa put it on before I take a shower, like an hour before, let me see. and then let it dry. And then once I finish, I, I put this on when my hair is wet, and then sure, close I don't even I don't even blow dry it. I just leave it on so it, it dries. Like this. And then after it dries, I would brush it like front and back. And I wanted to buy this to make it soft because like it, it does make it straight. Anti frizz and, and anti curl yeah. lotion. Yeah, that's anti frizz. And it doesn't, it takes, it like makes it straight, like not straight straight, but it makes it a little Doesn't make your hair frizzy. No, it doesn't. Um, but I, like, it's fine. Just, I want it softer. So, I got that. Yeah. So, this is the product that we just got a while ago. And it's, um, Garnier Fruity Sleek and Shine Intensely Smooth Leave-In Conditioning Cream. And it's a three-day sleek. Frizzy, dry, and undone. Wait, what's the three-day sleek mean? Three days sleek, I guess it leaves your hair sleek for three days. Right? <laughs> Maybe. That's kind of okay. stupid. Whatever. So it says in the back, want a smooth look and a frizz control that lasts? Get our ultimate Quick question. sleek. If it's only for three days, I wash my hair about two times a week because you know how you're supposed to let the natural grease out and not wash it too much or it'll fall? Mm -hmm. Do you have to put it even when it's not wet? No. When it's, when it's wet. Mm -hmm. Like when you wash your hair. So this is the product. Like and that. this video is getting too long, so we should stop. Soon. Yeah, we should stop. Okay, so this is it, and it's really good. I hear it's really good too. And sorry about my nails; they're like really messed up. Oh, trust me, I don't even have nail polish. Exactly, that's better. So, anyways, um, thank you guys for watching this. Hope you like, comment, subscribe. Yeah. Follow me on my Instagram for. And follow me. I have the stupidest name on YouTube, but okay. It's hiking girl four one two. Hiking girl four one two. I don't even like. Hiking. I'll write it in the description box, and then um follow me on my Instagram forever max seven ten and on my Twitter cutie face seven ten. So talk to you guys <laughs> later. <laughs> hey. <laughs> so bye. bye. Love you guys. Mwah.